so since the new Far Cry comes out in two weeks and I'm probably gonna buy it and try to get my friends to play it I am going to play Far Cry 2 because that is the only Far Cry game I have ever gotten that I have never beaten uh, and what that means is is uh, when I, I played this when I was little and I didn't know how to work the malaria pills so I just kept dying to malaria which is the illness you have in this game and it's it's a giant pain in the ass but you know shit happens so let me get my computer set up and open up my Twitch chat. So give me one minute. Sorry about the other day when I didn't uh, upload anything. I uh, passed the fuck out like all day. I just so tired. Don't know why. I think my sleeping schedule with like my work schedule changing and then me and Sean staying up all night playing Smite kind of got all fucky. And uh, this is the Far Cry that pretty much stapled the style and the way people would do things. Or the way the open world was. This is what really set the background for 3 and 4. 5 kind of changed the formula, but also stayed the same. I like playing my games a little brighter just because I can't see darker areas as well. Oh, so let me turn down the sorry the background music was really loud this game has an interesting I'm gonna play it on normal I forgot you could pick a character. Nationalized U.S. Born in Brazil. 190 pounds. Or in Clyde. Tulsa, Oklahoma. I actually live really close to that. So that that's actually kind of funny. I don't know if I ever realized that the first time I played this. Tulsa, Oklahoma. Security permit, Florida, VIP protection, Dominican Republic, Ecuador, civilian aviation license, Bahamas. Yugoslavia, Budapest, Hungary. I forgot you could do this. I might play as the Tulsa, Oklahoma guy. Yeah. Yeah, Tulsa, Oklahoma. Sean hasn't been at on at all today, and well, it, it says he has, but I've been trying to get a hold of him, but I haven't got a reply, so it doesn't look like I'll be playing any Smite tonight. <clears throat> okay, we go. Hey, sir, sorry for the delay. So you going to a hotel in Prada? Yeah, another place. It's lucky for you, Bala is only one hotel still working. The graphics are a bit dull in this game, but it's kind of what sets up like the wild animals and fire and shit. I 
told him the plane's gone, but they don't believe me. Everyone thinks the big planes are coming back. Who can say anymore? Oh, what the fuck? My game just, Well, my stream just pixelated that. I'm not downloading any. Uh, maybe it was just a spike in Wi Fi. Make sure that my. Yeah, I'm getting pixelation again. Which is weird. One sec. Should I fix that? Hopefully it fixes. Um, from, from all that, uh, I don't want to have to delete this. Taking a look at it now. Seems okay. If you're wondering why I haven't streamed Spyro in a while, it's because it won't let me stream that game. I want to try to do it, but I can't use my capture device on the computer I have. So, hey, look at I see if I do stream it, it's because it'll let me. This is Liberation Radio speaking. Truth seekers, and the truth is that your country needs you. Beware the evil APR scorch. A plague has gripped our people. They're not fans of the DJ. Maybe his music choices. Who knows? And what about some of the many checkpoints is on the I mean, I'm doing that. I wish I knew what they were saying. Where are you headed? My passenger, driving him to the hotel in mm -hmm. town. Yes, sir, the airport. Uh, gentlemen, you are posted here all day. Ne? On my way back, I grab some cold beer. You drink beer, ne? Yep, beer. We drink beer. Hurry up then. Move along. Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. See you soon, sir. Son of a bitch. Oh, no offense. But here, yeah, these militia, they come into our country, steal everything, and they leave us nothing. I mean, almost every war kind of has this thing like that, like a little invasion of foreign people. Although, this isn't a war, but like, I'm pretty sure the French. Africa. Germany was too at one point, even England. Getting a little pixelation again, I hope it stops. Don't know if it's my computer. A lot of troops now this. It's okay, we get to themselves most of the time. Just boys leaving up steam, right? But remember how you Everyone's trying to find a way out of the hunt. Only fools stay now. Hey. Fools and cab drivers. <laughs> Oh shit. Malaria starting. <laughs> How do you get malaria? I'm curious. Ooh, man, the audio for that. Okay, sir, we are here. We made it to life. Hey, are you okay? You don't look so good. You tired?
so I just passed the fuck out because of malaria, so... Interesting. Skinny Seahorse is watching my stream right now. And I appreciate it. The target's uh, presence in the state continues to be a stabilizing influence. He's largely responsible for the recent influx of weapons into the country and clear violation of the joint signatory framework. His reputation as a dangerous arms dealer is well deserved. Orders are to terminate. Well, that didn't work out the way they planned. I'm still breathing and you're the one with malaria. You can tell them you try, but that means fuck all, doesn't it? You're fired. You know it, and so do I. You had your shot, but now it's over. And since men like you only work for money, you're no longer my problem. You have to find something else to do with yourself now. What your old clients don't seem to understand is that they can't kill me. Do you understand what I'm saying? Nobody kills me. <laughs> I'm the one who decides who lives and who dies. Me. You know, there's a book I read a long time ago. I still think about it every day. It helps me understand life out here. The book talks about men and what motivates them. Simple, really. A living being seeks above all else to discharge its strength. Life itself is will to power. Nothing else matters. <laughs> so long. Oh, he got it from a mosquito. I was looking up how to get there. Jesus Christ. Escape the town. Oh, the malaria vision's a little freaky. Oh man, my audio is super fucky. Uh, I don't like it. Um... I'll just turn it down a pig. You know, I know this... Seems a little buggy, but Fuck down. Jesus. Hilarious. 
is fucking me up. And I got an achievement on the run. Um, so I hope this isn't buggy, but you gotta remember this hasn't been out for very. Okay, so basically, I've, I've, I've explained it in previous streams. Backwards compat games on Xbox have to get all the patches they got whenever they after their first release. So when it releases, it's as if it releases day one with all glitches. And they sometimes try to fix that, but no, they don't do it all the time. So some of them are okay, but most of the time it's pretty bad. And I think that this might be a little buggy, especially just because it's a fucking Far Cry game and it's an old one. So if shit happens, just a warning ahead of time. Because I can already tell the audio... got some of my guys killed at the hotel, you know that? So now you run errands for me, and I got some things for you to do. Get out here, take what you need, there's ammunition, medicine, whatever, hurry up. Save and continue. I forget. I think it's two factions trying to kill each other. You listen. Shit really hit fan back in power. There was supposed to be ceasefire, but that's all out the window now. I work for this big shot Kakumba, local boss for United Front. Everyone I've got who knows us from hole in the ground is out in field fighting the APR. That just leaves you, Aaron, boy. So first thing, you need to get piece of shit automobile back on the road. Can you do that, or do you not know us from hole in the ground? Go outside and get the engine running. You know you got malaria, right? So you screw around, you pass out, maybe die. Too bad. God, open up. Current objective. Pop the hood and fix the car. The lieutenant told me to repair the car parked outside. I need to be careful with vehicles, because if I crash and lose it, it's not like other games where, oh, you can fuck around and explore a true leisure. This game gives you a sense of urgency because, oh, you got where you. Is 
it just two or are there more? Looks like just two. Dude, I stab. Lots of stealth is bullshit. But sick guy like you will be falling down in the middle of it. Go to sleep, get resupplied, and move on. You're safe for now. Okay, this will get me buddies, yada yada yada. The day and night system is actually kind of neat. And I don't know if sleeping slows the spread of my malaria or not. tonight. You equipped your map, you could pull out and hold LT to use your monocular. You mean binocular? Ooh. 
Stuck on the fence. Oh, I've got next to an explosive barrel, bad idea. That that just makes me feel oh. You know, when I played this as a kid, I thought it was, eh, okay. It doesn't perform as well as some of the newer ones, because, like, stealth takedowns and stuff weren't really a thing in this. Uh, I, maybe when you get to a certain part, it is, but... Oh. Found the chickens. I've been here. bad. See, that, like, in the start of the game it just teases it, but like, once you get further in the game and you get pills, like, if you run out of pills you're just dead. You're not a god. You're sick. Very sick. You, sir, need some medicine. During assignments, your best buddy will contact you with alternate ways to complete missions and gain additional rewards. I will meet you there and help you find the pills you need. But for now, I am leaving. Hello. Don't follow me. Making friends. Alright. This is a bit of a blander game. I'm gonna admit it. Like, the first one is, like, kind of like a shooter old-fashioned-ish so like you're just supposed to stand there and do more damage with your weapon and hope to god you don't die uh, and this is the evolutionary stage between this and three between that and three so you'll see where a lot of stuff comes from and where a lot of stuff was improved So you're an American mercenary tasked with killing this mercenary, dickhead. Um, ironically, like, mercenary v. mercenaries, like, that, that shit's been around since, like, the Roman era. Roman Greece and all that shit, they... We constantly have mercenaries, but like the losing side would eventually stop recruiting them, and then the ones that they had and started paying for, etc. Shit, shit, shit. Uh, switch sides, and they would constantly switch sides. Some would switch sides in between battles. It was a uh, bill, and mercenaries can do morally gray things that, like armies and stuff, like they're not bound by any of their conventions. So it's it's a bit of a good idea to get them. But also, if you're found out to, like, have them, etc., and other shit like that, uh, you can get in a lot of trouble.
gonna assume that that's pig. Only currency was shit around here. Don't take paper money from nobody. I wouldn't use it for toilet paper. You do work for the UFLL, you get paid in stones. It's okay. One of my guys. Not so smart. Delivers case of diamonds here yesterday. Dumb fuck sticks case somewhere in the camp and they get shot in face back in town. Maybe you killed him. Anyway, if you go outside and find the diamonds, they're all yours. Case has tracker you can home in on with your compass. If you smart guy, you go buy medicine first thing. Don't be screwing around with malaria. You should go have a drink at Mike's bar. Lots of independent contractors there. Get yourself healthy. Come by the front office in town. I'll introduce you to the Kumba. Then we talk. Hey, open door. Yeah, like you said, I don't want to fuck around with malaria. I want to save often. And I want to take it one step at a time. The, the sense of freedom is there in this game, but it's pretty much lost on you because you can't really dick around. And I don't know if there's a point in the game where you're completely cured of it either. Weapons dropped by enemies are old and unreliable. Visit the weapon shop at Mike's Bar to buy new weapons with those diamonds and avoid gun jams and misfires. Or you could be a smart motherfucker and just keep alternating. So like, yeah, this is old and unreliable, but if I keep picking them up, I normally don't have a problem. And I can also save money. The vehicles are slow, and honestly, I don't know if you get any flying vehicles in this game as well. Like I said, this is merely the stepping stone for all our cries to build upon, and it's it's one of those ones that, like, it kind of started to bring its popularity up, but Far Cry didn't get popular to the third. The first was your average shooter with, eh, plot. I actually think at one point it tried to involve the aliens. It was, it was different. Um... I missed my turn. But, uh... This one went with the whole, hey, you're in Africa and you're a mercenary. Um... And then all the others embraced, like, hey, you're in a foreign country, there's a different culture, and there's exploration, and it's neat. But this one... This one was just coming off of the, the average shooter, so it was... This is one of like the first steps into like true open world. Oh, okay, yellow is a ceasefire zone. This one actually like divulges into the politics and it's actually kind of neat because there's like hostile and non-hostile territories that was actually cool but they kind of just were like taking it way too seriously and whenever they switched to three and four they decided to just not take it seriously For a while 
lot of times in this game where like I tried to find malaria pills and couldn't fucking find them, so I would just die at the wheel of a vehicle. I think the bar is this. That's evidently not loaded. You know the black market's right here. I can do missions to unlock better weapons. The weapon shop is also a great place to save your game with a case mounted on the wall behind you. Don't forget to keep an eye out for blue cases and save your game whenever you pass by a weapon shop or in the entrance of the faction that Q in town. Once a weapon is purchased, you'll find unlimited quantities available in the armory next door. Flamethrower. This is a shotgun. Machete. Apparently, I can only have one primary. I think I'm going to go shotgun no matter what. Pick up the devil. I'm very glad you made it here safely. This is your first and best buddy. This buddy will contact you during missions to offer alternate ways to complete missions. As your reward, you'll increase your reputation and upgrade your safe house. Last time I saw you, you were very sick. Please, let me introduce myself. My name is Garbani Singh. You see that man right there? He can get malaria pills, and that is what you need. I have not forgotten how much you helped me before. I am at your service. Always. A pause for cross again, I hope. This guy. Stop. Here's the bloody tape, all right? That's it. That's all I've got. Well, aren't you going to destroy it? That's what your friends usually do. Wait, you're not here for the tapes, are you? Well, I see the problem now. You can get the pills you need from the church in Pala. The priest there will help you, assuming you make it in time. Just passes along for me. You can't break a man the way you break a dog or a horse. The harder you beat a man. Both of my buddies before I leave. Your second best buddy. This buddy will be here or at the safe houses you've unlocked. You may get side missions from your buddy, and if you're down in battle, you can count on this buddy to rescue you. People are talking about you. Muy bien. If you ever need any help, come find me. My name is Guillaume. And stay away from the factions. They're animals both sides. And I'm pretty sure that my missions will get me involved with both sides of the factions. Where I'll be sided with one at one point, and then against... Because I'm a mercenary and... 
It's Vegas shit. I just need to follow this road. And it looks like there's diamonds in here. Two out of 221. And I'm pretty sure that the diamonds come back in three, if that's not mistaken. Or there's like money cases. And then I think it's changes in four, and it's completely different in five. I know that for a fact. Careful not to get my vehicle stuck. signs that say no guns to symbolize the ceasefire. So, there's more of these diamonds nearby. In here. You're going the wrong way, asshole. Ah. This is considered restricted, I guess. There's the case. Don't let anyone see me.
I gotta get into the church, but I think I have to go somewhere down the middle. Ah, my pinky's falling asleep. There's another diamond down that way. Here's where I'll meet the priest. I'm sorry, there aren't regular services at the moment. Oh, you're not well. You should see a doctor before you really need a priest. Did Ruben send you? He had something for me. I would be very happy to give you what little medicine I have in exchange. I think you should take one of those right away. Those will only last a short while, but I may know where to get more. Not all of my people have left. Many are trapped, scared of what will happen if they are caught trying to leave. There are others who have chosen to stay. We try to help where we can, and we could use someone like you. Okay. You should come back when you require more medicine. I think I get like one refill from him. And I think that's it. Tutorial and training elements are now finished. Anto Kinkaris can induce you to Leon Gabunka at UFL headquarters marked with... Your pills will keep your malaria in check for now. You are free to explore the world. Safe houses can be unlocked and upgraded. By working with buddies, guard posts can be scouted for intel. Diamonds can be found through exploration. Diamonds can be used to purchase weapons that unlock by taking side missions at the weapon shop. Other side missions for diamonds, arms, or reputation can be found at any other mark location with an exclamation mark. From one bus station to another bus station in your area, saving your progress automatically. Somewhere out there is an arms dealer known only as the Jackal. He has been selling guns to both the UFFL and the APR, so he's been supplying both sides. Every gun, every bullet, and every corpse you've seen have been traced directly back to him. Find him and kill him. He's playing the morally gray line, and so am I, because I'm probably going to end up working with both sides to get my own shit looks like I gotta work with this side first yeah. I see this guy is I can see him right there. Looks like there were only two red zones here anyway, so... So I need to help the UFL Wait. out? I'll need your guns and all, man. Okay. You could at least take me out to dinner first. And there's a safe station. I 
consider yourself top. It would be easy for people to assume that I ordered this attack. Look at the girl, look at the god, Jesus, that is the highest Another quality. soldier for hire. What is it going great for mercenaries these days? We fight for the FL. You'd call me Dr. Kakumba. You're still around. Good. And we need free lads. Tell him. Ah, the dude from the beginning. forces out in an area just gone for hired guys, but they are armed to the teeth. They are paid to parachute in and grab someone. He doesn't need to know who. It's okay if he knows. They're here for a big shot from the APR, but if they take our enemy, we got nobody to fight. Just get to the point. The SF team is set up in good position in the desert, two kilometers to southeast. Kakumba here doesn't want anybody to think he planned secret rendition would make him look bad. Enough, please. All you have to do is to find this man. Ah, so these mercenaries are going to kill a guy, and you don't want it to look like a secret. So you would just have me kill the mercenaries, so you could kill me by yourself. Standby point is in southern desert. Find the team and destroy their gear. Then they are nice and screwed. Payments here. Don't forget, this is secret mission, so you FLL guys don't know you. Don't expect any help out there. Uh, considering how I'm pretty sure I shot both sides in the tutorial because I was going the wrong fucking way, I'm, I'm making a safe assumption. Okay, so missions get me diamonds better than fucking just going out and looking for them. In all honesty, I should probably just focus on missions until I know I can get an adequate supply of... Uh, Pills, because I think the church is only good for like one refill. Hello, sir. It's Karwani Singh. I'm at a safe house about a kilometer east of the lumber camp. Meet me there if you can. Ah, he's gonna give me my alternate objective. And I do think this is kind of neat, like giving me secondary objectives. Yeah. All right. Now. Oh, it shows me where I've already gotten diamonds. This game has more of a, like, serious, but, like, slower tone than, like, the crazy excitement and ridiculousness of every other Far Cry. But I feel like uh, Far Cry 5 tried too hard and couldn't figure out what the fuck it was because it had the chance to take, like, politics and religion to a next step, but it basically didn't take it to an interesting level, only that, hey, these guys are super religious. Hey, they could be right. Shotguns. Is it? Is it seriously not all? Should I not just kill all these men? Somebody just took pot shots at me. There he is. Huh. 
How have I not taken this yet? Oh well. This safe house is mine. Just gonna sleep for like a little bit. Please tell me those guys I just killed down there didn't respawn. So that's where I left my vehicle. Now it looks like we're good. I guess it was too short of a while to allow them to actually like restock their guards. Alright. I always forget about the GPS I have. Right there. All right, another diamond. <clears throat> I'm gonna get sidetracked a little bit, but not a whole lot. Like, a lot of this may be more open world than it looks, but it's still pretty freaking linear. There's a safe house up here to the right. Notice me, Senpai, don't notice me. I hate to standing here. Well, let's go, come on. We're not going anywhere. That's why someone flanks you, right? No one's gonna flank us. Watch the ground, you hear me?
just rest for a little bit. And let's see if one of my sidekicks shows up in this. Nope. Sometimes they show up whenever you're sleeping and stuff, but most of the time I think it's after you do the first mission. If you're wondering why I'm not sleeping super long, it's I don't trust this game to not fuck me with the malaria pills because, like, I had a bad experience where I was stuck at a point where I, like, had, like, ten minutes to live and I couldn't find out where the next malaria... Uh, pill place was, so I was pretty kerfucked. What the fuck is that? I have to go through a roadblock where I can cut to the middle. Better to not engage in fights. Kinda wish I would have fought him now. So far, I haven't run across any wildlife, but I know there's some here. I need to fix my vehicle. bitch stuck already. Might have been worth it to just engage in that fight because God the damage I've done to my vehicle getting stuck. That's why I should have probably stuck to the main road. goat. I used to know a lady with a goat named Dog. They thought it was a dog. It was adorable. I'm over here. You met Kikumba and Kankarash. So you heard. There is a manhunt on. The special forces team is already in country. I have to deal with them. So <coughs> I need someone to regroup the team. You can do it. Find a liaison inside the villa and convince him to call in some new coordinates. They'll end up in Mokuba. You're supposed to destroy their gear in the desert, right? It will be easier in close quarters. Trust me. 
I'll be there to face them, as will a few men from the APR. Don't care to work with these boys again, but beggars can't be choosers. I'm the man those commanders are after, you see, for stealing an NGO's medicine. I do indeed steal it, and then I distribute it. The factions, I mean, really, we all know what they do with those supplies. The APR doesn't know about my side business, of course. They just want to keep the war private, no outsiders. Together we'll all get rid of these men. How does that sound? Just a short while, so that way I can get the save built. <clears throat> I don't know what they're saying on TV, but uh, apparently it's more about the border wall and the, the government shutdown shit, so I guess one of the comedians has a dude in a border costume where he's supposed to be the border I guess, I don't know, it's... Po political comedy is hit and miss with me. So I need to hit this blue area before I do anything. And I'm gonna have to go through a checkpoint, no matter where I go. so easy. Where the fuck's my vehicle? I think those dickheads stole it. Uh, is there another vehicle down here? Don't see one. Are you shitting me? My vehicle got stolen? Or did the loading screen kick it out of my game? I see a vehicle over there. What's that supposed to be? Oh, sweet. It's a weapons place. I can spend my diamonds. I have a third person watching me. I wonder who that is. Feel free to talk in the chat. Ooh, a sniper rifle. Oh, ho, ho. An LMG. You know what? I'm going to go LMG and sniper rifle. kind of relaxing in a way and I don't know why so now Sniper, and an LMG, and I am prepared as fuck.
Somebody's dead on the road. That's right, just keep on driving. Don't really want to fuck with you. So you got one right there. And you got another one coming up behind. What? That's the only checkpoint I have to deal with, but now I gotta fight those one guys. I don't have a whole lot of ammo though, so I need to take that slowly. That LMG will blow through shit if I don't. That actually might be it, holy fuck. There's a building on the way. Don't see where the bullets are coming from. Now I do. That bitch is dead.
Okay. Fuck that was, but I'll take it. Whatever it is. Okay, okay. Ho ho ho. Bravo Papa Mike, this is Charlie Q4. Do you read? We copy, go ahead. Stand by for coordinates. Sweet. So I don't have to kill the special forces, which I'm assuming are U.S. military. These guys must be rebels that are assisting that I just killed. Pretty sure that one was a US. Or Aussie. Jesus. I got fucked. But I can load that save I had. Yeah, this LMG is kind of fucking me. Did she just... Don't take me to the safe house, let me... Still plenty of hostiles out there. Get your gear straightened out. Hey, check your wound! Where the fuck did you take me, lady? Oh, you got me out of there. You dragged my ass out. Nice going. Let's 
so buddies are pretty neat. But in this game, I don't think they actually assist you. I think they just protect your ass and pull you out. But I think there's a limit to how many times you're allowed to do that. Yeah, I got fucked. Really? safe house over here how are you doing okay you got that look in your eye you're up to no good you want some help with whatever you got planned Bueno, okay, we're together. Watch yourself. Sleep a little bit. Gotta admit, the buddies are pretty neat in this. Uh, they're not, like... They're not as advanced as the ones in Far Cry 5 where they fight alongside you and help you. And in 3, you, you could have buddies who helped you and did all that shit too. So apparently you have to go back to a safe house to get them rescue ready. That means this is so that way they can revive you. And I mean, oh fuck, she came through, she dragged my ass out of there. I guess they're all still dead from when I fucked them up. Don't like this place at all. Hard to see with a sniper rifle.
fucking tree. Thank you, fucking physics. Not much of an attack, more of a slaughter fest. Why did I do that? Making sure to check my corners and... That didn't backfire, I don't know what did. to you bastards. The commando's gear has to be destroyed. Well, I'll destroy their gear, alright, but just give me time to fucking find it. As 
assuming that's it. Best laid plans. Hmm. <laughs> Neat. There it is. So my friend's in trouble. fight the APR. I don't know why I just injected myself with heroin, but I did. I think I'm gonna get to a stopping point and just call it a night. I don't know if I'm gonna play anything or not after this. I haven't really been on lately and I do apologize. Yeah, I passed the fuck out yesterday and Sean played some Black Ops without me. Uh-uh. 
<clears throat> so, I was hoping he'd be on a day. It said he was on all the tanks, but he must have just left his Xbox on, so. Wildlife. Come on, croak. You son of a bitch. There, they're all dead. Someone in the fucking town with the seat. Oh, talk about a challenge! I have to kill and get in and get out. Or I could see about maybe scoping them out. It'd be a little hard though. the target on the map. Received a cellular message to kill this man. Alright, well, I'm gonna rest for a little bit. Well, I am enjoying this game, and I think I'm handling myself and the pills better, so uh, that doesn't sound right. Um, so maybe I will do a full playthrough of this game. Uh, I know um, Fallout comes out, um, or, I mean not, not Fallout, Far Cry comes out the 14th of next month, Kingdom Hearts comes out the 30th this month, and the 14th of next month also is Crackdown, I do believe. And I'm going to be honest with you, last night, the reason I crashed is I was kind of super stressed out because I couldn't get a book that I need to do a book review on. So we've got two upcoming book reviews. 
that are both going to be due on the 4th of next month. One of them's due, and the other one, I have to have picked a book by then. I digress. Um, so just be aware that if, like, I stop streaming for a few days, it's because I'm, like, really cracking down on the book review. Um, my online classes, I think I should be good for a few weeks. I just have to get into contact with one of the professors so I can set up my, like, uh, teacher intern bullshit. Um, so just keep that in mind. Other than that, it should be golden. So if anything changes, you know why.